I would like to start with a, with a comment that uh, you, Gary, made. That's the education that we need. And I think we should contrast that with the, actual, with the education that we actually provide. Um, and we should start from the context. And the context is that we are living in times where through the internet revolution and everything, I mean, there was never so much uh, information available. So the problem that, for example, people my age um, used to have was that you need to find information, but you either had to buy books from abroad and you had to wait for them like four weeks before they come, and, uh, or some journal that you... But now, uh, nowadays everything is online, it's there, um, and it's readily available. The problem is that now there is too much information. And how are we going to get to know which information is right and which information is wrong? Um, which is very important. I mean, like, um, quite, quite a few years ago, there was a journalist um, who wrote about the angles of a banana imposed in Brussels. Eventually, he ended up being, becoming prime minister. Um, the thing is that it was not true. There are no... Uh, impositions on the angles of a banana coming from Brussels. But that was uh, one of the things that remained the popular imaginary uh, when it came for people to debate Brexit. So the information that we give, and I think that is one of the reasons why um, journalism is so much um, a bit, uh, going through a period of disrepute actually, uh, is because people know that journalists are not factual, they are not objective. Sometimes they are not true at all. Um, right now there is a war going on, and I must admit, I, 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 it's still a habit of mine that I, in the morning, on my morning coffee, I read The Guardian online. However, I skip um, the, the section dealing with the war, because it is completely not objective. It is one-sided. There is no historical depth to it. And it's very partisan, so I skip it. On the rest, I enjoy The Guardian as usual, especially when it comes to culture and the books. Um, so the education that we're providing, what kind of education are we providing? And we have to make a bit um, of distinctions. Right now, in our schools, we are still providing um, our children and young people with education which is based on an uh, information-based curriculum and not a skills-based curriculum. So we are still teaching like we, are, we were teaching a hundred years ago. And we are also um, teaching in a way where we have uh, regimentation and segmentation rather than having transversal, um, transversal skills and transversal values in our, delivered in our curriculum. And we are still compartmentalizing knowledge rather than creating flexibility to also meet the needs and the demands of our students. So we are teaching in a way that is completely out of sync with the world we are living in. What do we need to teach? We need to teach our students how to learn, to learn how to learn, how to create their own curriculum, how uh, to find the right information that they need and that is useful for them. And that requires many skills. For example, one of the things, and I really agree with Natalino here is, I mean, if you want to be a good journalist, you need to be well-trained in history, because otherwise your view of what's happening would be always very shallow. Um, and historians, the first thing that they learn is about sources. How am I going to assess the sources that I have? How am I going to see where the, the, the sources that I have are, are you know, they're coming from, from a good source. What's the bias of that source? 
And these are also the things that we need to teach our kids at school because every day they are consuming information. They are consuming information about global warming, but they are also consuming information about uh, dietary products, about, uh, you know, about information technology, about everything. So how will a, the young person today know that a source of information is right? I mean, this, I think, is, should be something that uh, should be discussed.